Right you guys, got another video here for you. This one's on how to uninstall uh, iTunes on your system. Now you may be thinking that that's pretty straightforward. You just go to add and remove programs and remove iTunes. Well that's not the case because iTunes is a bit of a beast to uninstall and it can cause a lot of problems. Now there is someone on my forum that's asking on how to remove it because he's having issues with it. Now you may be wondering whether you want to get rid of it completely so you can uninstall it. This is a good way of doing it or you may have problems with iTunes that you want to uninstall it everything and then reinstall it and this is the way I would go about doing that okay and I'd use this sort of method for a lot of uninstallations to try and remove all the remnants so we can get it installed again and work it again now personally I don't like iTunes I will use something like Media Monkey in replace of iTunes and you can get Media Monkey uh, from this site here it's a free download and that's what I like myself personally and uh, I feel it's a lot less uh, resource hungry and it's much more easier to use. Okay, so let's uh, assume that you've got issues with iTunes and you want to uninstall it. And I'm going to show you about how to uninstall iTunes Quick Player and all the other remnants that go with iTunes. So the first thing we want to do is have a look at Control Panel here and go to Add and Remove Programs. And you'll see there's quite a lot of files that's related to it. And this is one of them here as you can see and there's another one there and there and uh, bonjour is another one and we've also got iTunes down here and there's a few other bits and pieces that are related to it QuickTime okay and we're going to go ahead and remove all those but not from the actual uninstall part there so we're going to be using a few programs here there's one called Bytunes you can use if you're not so um, happy of going into the registry and, and using programs and this is another good tool to actually use to actually remove iTunes it's called Bytunes and you can get it from this website it hasn't been updated for quite a while by the looks of it but it does a quite a good job at removing iTunes itself but it does leave behind a lot of remnants okay so let's uh, start off now the first thing I would advise you to do is back up all your music first before you do this because once you've removed everything everything will be gone and you don't want to lose all your paid music that you've paid for so you can back up all your music first and the next thing you want to do is um, you want to go to organize here folder and search options and you want to actually show hidden files and folders and take hide extensions uh, for known file types out so we can actually see stuff now we've done that, what we're going to do next is come down to the Start or the All button there and type Reg Edit. And we're going to make a backup of the registry in case uh, there's any problems along the way. So we're going to go up to File and Export. I'm going to call this uh, Backup. And we're going to just put this into uh, my documents. And this will make a complete backup of the registry. Now sometimes what can happen, you may have a problem and something may go wrong. And this is, will allow us to put it all back if we've made mistakes. So here we can have our backup. It's quite a big backup as you can see. Okay, I'd also advise you to make a restore point on your system. Now we can go up to my computer here, properties, uh, advanced system settings. And what we're going to do is come down to System Protection. On the C drive there, we're going to create a restore point. I'm going to call this iTunes Uninstall and create that in case something goes wrong. We need to revert back to that restore point. Okay, now we've done all the safety features. What we're going to do here is start the removal process. So the first thing I want to do is go to Revo Uninstaller. Now Revo Uninstaller is a real good tool for removing iTunes. It is free and they do a pro version as well. So the first thing I want to go to is iTunes itself, which is this one. I'm going to uninstall this. I'm going to come down to the Advanced tab here and go Next. Okay, we want to remove this. 
I'm going to say yes to that. Now it uses the uninstaller for it for the first part. Okay, we can click finish on this now. And then we want to go next. It's scanning for leftovers, uh, leftover information from iTunes. Okay, so what we want to do here now is come down to where it says iTunes here. You can see we want to make sure we remove this. I'm going to put tick in all this stuff here. Click on the delete. And then we want to go next. Okay, so now we can see a lot of other stuff that we want to remove. And what we need to do here is painstakingly put in all the ticks into the areas that are for iTunes itself. Okay. And be careful that you don't tick stuff that you don't want to remove because it will remove it. And this is why we needed to make a backup. And I will remove some other stuff if we need to, but I'm just going to leave these parts here. So I'm not sure if they're related to iTunes. I'm just going to do the stuff that I actually know. And then delete that. And then we can skip this stuff. And click finish. Okay, so we want to get rid of the Apple software update as well. Same thing. I like that. Click on the remove part. Now this is quite a lengthy process, but it's the best way of doing it. It's going to scan for leftovers. Okay, again, we want to put the ticks in the apple boxes here, all this is Apple. I'm not too worried about this stuff here, it's just this main area. Click delete. Okay, we're going to get rid of the mobile device support. Come down to the advance again. As you can see, there's a lot of files that Apple puts on the system. It's a bit of a beast. I'm going to move this bonjour as well. It's going to scan for some more leftovers here. And as you can see, Revo uninstaller is an awesome piece of software. I'm just going to get rid of this part. Okay, we're getting near the end now. It's a bit monotonous after a while.
and we're going to remove QuickTime as well just to make sure if you've got problems with, I, with iTunes you want to make sure that you remove everything and then reinstall it if that's what your plan is and this is the way you're going to solve all your problems just going to scan for some more leftovers there Okay, you can see quite a lot there. Okay, so I'm going to remove these. These are just the QuickTime plugins. You can see High Cloud here, I think that's to do with it as well. I'm just going to quickly remove that as well. Again, it's best to scan and remove everything possible that's related to iTunes if you want to install it successfully if you're having issues. Okay, so that's now all cleared out as you can see. So we're now finished with Revo Uninstaller. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to run Search Anything. I'm going to open this up and what we need to put in here is QuickTime and as you search for QuickTime you can see that it's finding all the QuickTime stuff on the system okay now that's an uninstall that's an installer there but I just want to remove everything here now if you don't want to remove the installer you don't have to but I'm going to be removing everything and all you need to do is right click and then delete. Okay, so what we want to do here is type terms in that we want to get rid of iPod. and so on so we're removing everything from the system so what we want to do is remove all the Apple stuff now be careful not to delete stuff that's nothing to do with that you can see here but we don't want to remove that we just want to remove the Apple stuff okay and you can just go through with whatever you want here um, pretty much I mean you can type in everything you want to get rid of stuff and it will just find it and then remove it so you got the idea there once that's all done the next thing you want to do is run CCleaner now what you want to do is just make sure that you've got all your ticks done that you want to do I'm going to analyze and then I'm going to run cleaner Okay, so once we've got the analyzing and run cleaner done, we want to go through the registry part and we want to run some scans here. 
and what that's going to do is find anything that's left behind any remnants and as you can see here iPod has been left behind some bits there and there should be some other stuff from Apple that we've missed okay Apple you can see there and what we're going to do is fix these and I'm going to fix all the issues and then close that off okay so that pretty much uh, covers the uninstallation of iTunes and Apple software now that pretty much should allow you to install the software again or maybe don't put it on again and use something else whatever you want to do you should be able to go ahead and uh, fix all your issues that you had either with uninstalling or installing or whatever it may be then your problem should now be solved you could use this method on uh, many other uninstalls that may be a bit more difficult to remove and uh, that should be pretty much it for this video so I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoyed these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and show your support also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoyed them and I'll be making more videos again in the future so thanks again for your watching thanks again for the support bye for now